We're with Tom Wilson, uh, the information officer here with CORD, and I guess, Tom, let's talk about the numbers right off the bat. We're up two centimeters over the last 24 hours, being a Tuesday at around noon. Uh, tell us what that means for the flood situation. It means the, um, you know, the lake's now at uh, really the highest level it's ever been at in, in, you know, since the 40s, and so it's, it's a lot of water in the lake, obviously. It's gone up um, like five centimeters since the weekend, so or over the weekend. So the areas that are in the most danger are uh, are aware of already because they're already, you know, suffering the consequences of the, the high lake level. So it's, you know, it's a matter of at this point, it reinforcing the, the protection that's already in place, knowing that the lake continues to go up five centimeters in, in uh, two or three days. And, and it's going to continue like that for a while. These are our docks right to our right. And that's the boathouse down there. Uh, where you see the low end, it's probably four feet deep, but our docks are all dismembered and coming apart. So from here to there, it takes about 50 bags. So it's really important that we don't have them breach. What kinds of protective measures are you guys are looking at installing and where, for example, Mission Creek is, is becoming a problem? Yeah, that's been one of the concerns and so there's been a lot of attention paid to it and, and uh, property owners along there have gotten the message and are, are doing their own thing very well it seems like. The forestry crews have been going around and just double checking on people and, and installing uh, protection where it, it's needed to protect city infrastructure and same thing in Green Bay, you know, it's, it's a low-lying area so extra protection has been put in place there. Um, there's a, you know, Green Bay Canal is, is rising and there are some properties there that are, are you know, they're, they're under evacuation alert right now. So measures are going to be put in place today to try and pump out some of the water that's in that canal and, uh, and yeah, protect those properties. You mentioned evacuation alerts. I want to touch just on evacuation orders. I guess the current uh, place that's significantly uh, underwater is Tween Lakes Resort out in Oyama. Talk about the decision to put that under evacuation order and, and what that means for those uh, people who have uh, trailers and stuff there. Yeah, I think the 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 decision to make it an order was based on the um, just the high level of water in that area. Uh, it's also what's taken into consideration that most of those properties are, are vacant. So an order isn't really, um, you know, affecting any people, but we want to protect the property as much as possible and do what we can in, in, that, uh, in that area. It's just a matter of the super high water level and then the infrastructure and, you know, all the electrical has been turned off in those areas, so it's kind of uninhabitable right now. So there, that's the reason for the order. We talked to the property manager there, and he's he's basically saying he really doesn't want any boats anywhere near that area because they're basically uh, breaching the sandbags that are in place. And I guess that's your message as well to people here on the lake as well, isn't it? To to, to keep away from the shoreline with their boats. Absolutely, yeah. The you know, if you could boat in a respectful manner to the properties around you, then you know, then nobody's going to be harmed. But the the concern is people aren't if they do not behave in a responsible and you know respectful manner to the properties that are already underwater then yeah they're just causing more damage and uh, they really need to get the message that you know we're in a state of emergency here and it's not time to be you know flying around in boats on on little lakes like that try to stay away from the docks okay they're coming apart just stay off the lakes you know and you know stay away from the channel and on our lake side because you know that's our biggest issue at this point but some people still don't care some people came through yesterday in a boat and was waking us a bit and we mentioned it and they gave us a few choice words what to do so weather is also an issue and then we saw we saw about a week ago with with the wind kicking up on the tuesday night at, 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 at the forecast for mm -hmm. this tuesday and possibly thursday is more uh, unsettled weather uh wind i guess what kinds of message do you have to people regarding what we could expect yeah you know if people suffered from the wind uh, last Tuesday then they know who they are and they know how to protect themselves. Um, the winds aren't going to be as as high as they were at that time but some of the winds there reached 70 kilometers an hour. Today we're looking at maybe gusting to 25 uh, kilometers an hour but there's 15 more centimeters of water on the lake than there was last Tuesday so so people need to adjust accordingly on their uh, in their you know fortifications that they have in place there knowing that you know, wherever the lake level is now, anticipate having at least another 20, possibly 30 centimeters if the wave action, you know, kicks up in a, in a big way.
you know we know it's coming. Again, our, our big thing is the breach because sandbags don't do basically anything other than stop or guide water or stop waves. It's not going to stop the water from coming in. It's just not. That's not what they do. So, We've had people coming out of Joe Rich. Uh, we didn't know in the beginning. We've had people coming out of Vernon we didn't know. Uh, Mario's Towing came in here with flat decks. Of course, Shaw has come in here with their truck fulls. Uh, they're supplying water. Donuts come in with bags on several occasions. So we're grateful for that. And uh, we get calls every day from them and everybody else if we need help. So right now what I need is sandbags, pre-bag just in case this breaches. The cleanup will be horrendous as far as cleanup goes. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, uh, but you know what, we're, we're good. You know, we, out of all bad, it's, it can't get any worse, so it can only get better, so. And as far as the members go, and the, we're all up for a challenge, so. Mother Nature does throw curves, so. We'll get up on our feet and we'll, we'll rebuild and we'll do what we have to do, so. We try to stay positive and make light of things and, you know, we've been fishing in here, catching fish in the road, and what do you do?